To quickly migrate your WordPress site, the first step is to go to your WordPress admin dashboard, head across to plugins and to add new plugin. From here, you can head up to the search plugins bar and you can search for duplicator, which will give you this option just here. There we go, right on cue. And this will allow you to back up your website, which is exactly what we want to do. However, the other option is what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on upload plugin just here and I'm going to go ahead and install Duplicator Pro. So I have my Duplicator Pro file just here. I'm going to drag and drop it just there. Click on install now. Hang around for just a second and then activate Duplicator Pro. And there is our option to activate plugin. From here, we will end up on the Duplicator Backups page because this is exactly what we're doing. We are creating a backup of our website. This is the most important start to migrating your WordPress website. So from here, you can see we have no current backups because we just installed Duplicator Pro. So let's head up here and click on Add New. From here, we have a few options. The template here, all we're going to do is set to default, which is a full site backup. That's exactly what we want. And we have options for storage. Where do we want that backup to be stored? I'm going to leave it with default local, but because we are using Duplicator Pro, if I wanted to send that to, for example, Google Drive or a OneDrive or something like that, I absolutely could. I've got the backup option here. Again, this is going to allow me to adjust components of the particular backup file, but we want a full site backup. So we're not going to worry about that. And then for the installer just here, again, we're just going to leave everything exactly as it is. And we're going to click on next. This is going to scan our website for us. This is just going to make sure that the backup is all good. And you can see that took less than a second and we have everything absolutely fine just here. So all we need to do is click on create backup. Here we go. Duplicator is now going to create my backup. This will take a couple of minutes and it will vary depending on the size of your website. So just hang around, grab yourself a cup of tea and your backup should be complete in a minute. So there we go. That is our backup complete. You can see it just here. And what we want to do now is we want to download that backup. So I'm just going to click on download and you're going to get two options for the installer and the archive file just download both files nice and easy. So this site we are backing up could be hosted on SiteGround, GoDaddy, Hostinger, any major hosting provider, it doesn't really matter, but they all tend to offer a really great first year introductory offer. So it makes a lot of sense for you after that first year to shop around. Although a lot of people don't do that because it seems to be too much effort to move your site from whatever hosting provider you went with initially to a brand new one. Now, I found a great deal with Bluehost. So we're going to take this particular site, this first one, I'm going to move it over to a new Bluehost hosting platform. But whichever hosting provider that you're using, the process is basically the same, so you can still follow along. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Bluehost hosting dashboard and I want to add a brand new website. Now, you might have done this already. And if you have, all you need to do is skip to the next step. I'm going to leave a little uh, marker down below. However, if you haven't, I'm going to add the website and I'm going to install WordPress. From here, you can add a site title. I'm just going to skip for now. You want to enter your domain name, whatever your domain name for your new website is. I'm just going to use a temporary one and continue. Here, WordPress is installing. This will take a couple of minutes and then I will show you essentially how easy it is to get to the WordPress admin dashboard. And from there, how easy it is to get your website from point A to point B.
So Bluehost gives me this option here where we can import a WordPress site, but we actually don't want to do that because the way we're doing it quite simply is better. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here, take me to the WordPress admin dashboard. That's exactly where we want to be, just here. Then from here, we're gonna to go to plugins. We're gonna to go to add new plugin. And we're gonna follow exactly the same procedure that we did a second ago. So we're gonna upload plugin and we're gonna go ahead and upload the Duplicator Pro plugin that we already have and we've already used. So install now, hang around and once again, activate. Once that's installed, you'll be able to see Duplicator Pro on the left hand side here in the sidebar. So from here, we're gonna go ahead to the import backups option this time. So click on import backups and it gives you the option to upload a backup. So let's go ahead, find that backup file that we had just here. So this is the backup. We're gonna drop it just there. That'll automatically start the install process. So that is the archive file and that is already uploading. So this is gonna take everything that we had on the previous site, ex an exact replica from our backup and place it onto our brand new website on our brand new hosting provider. And it really is that simple. There we go, that's complete. So we're just gonna click on continue. It's gonna ask you to set a disaster recovery point. We will touch on that in just a second, but for now, we're not going to worry about it and we're going to launch the installer. This is just gonna give you a bit of information. It's a single site install. It's gonna clear everything that's on the site. We're completely happy with all of this. There is a warning just here that um, essentially I haven't set a disaster recovery point. We just spoke about that. We will get to it in just a second, but for right now, we're not going to worry about it. Once we're happy with that, we're just gonna read and accept all terms and notices down here and click on next. And we're gonna be happy that we're gonna run the installer. So let's click on okay. We're now gonna extract all the backup files just here. So this isn't gonna take very long, but Again, just give it a minute to happen. You can see that mine is getting very, very close to being done already. There we go, that was quick and it's just telling you that everything was all good. And all we have to do now is we just have to click on admin login. This is gonna allow the uh, installer files to be deleted, which is essential to just complete this whole process. So I'm just gonna go admin login. There we go, once you have completed your admin login, you are gonna get here onto the duplicator page again, telling you that the site has successfully been migrated. And now what you can do is you can just go ahead, you can visit your site and you can check and see that everything is exactly as it was before. Every piece of text, every single image, every plugin, it is an identical copy of what you had on your website. Now, of course, we do need to deal with that disaster recovery point. And in order to do that, you're going to want to click this video right here.